Hey Nene Squad, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a girl talk about me. Usually I do girl talks with like just sitting in front of the camera first of all and not doing my makeup. This time I am doing my makeup and sharing something that happened with me so you ladies can learn and just so you guys can just hear me out and give you guys a little update about me and my situation. Um, I thank everybody for just watching and coming to support. Make sure you comment down below if you're a new subscriber, if you're just a new if you're just coming here and you've been the nene squad for a while and yeah so love you all and thank you guys for watching y'all i am back with a girl talk video like and it's not one of those where i just sit and talk it's actually just me talking to you guys about me and what has been going on with me so if you guys saw the instagram post i made um a couple days ago like i think it was let's see like probably a saturday or sunday but basically i was saying i'm back again and if you didn't see it i'll just scoot over and i'll put the picture right here and basically i was just talking about how i'm back and how like if you guys are the true nene squad then you know exactly what happened with me and um stuff like that so let me fill y'all in if you didn't know basically i was in this little situationship and i did actually do a chit chat get ready with me and i was talking about how like i was not single anymore and how like um i was talking to this guy and him and i are kind of dating but not dating like i basically thought that he was mine and i was his I, I knew i was his but was he mine that's the real thing so basically that was you know um talked about in the video and i was basically saying that he's different from other guys and he shows me different things and stuff like that and yeah so um long story short we are not together we don't talk and if you haven't seen my story time relax on my accent basically i was saying like i basically got played back to the instagram post so basically, I was basically saying like, I'm back to me, I'm back to who I am, I'm back to getting close with God, I'm back to not falling off with God. Because when I was with him, like him and I did go to church once, and yeah, that was it. And then I stopped, I started not praying a lot, and then it came into, I'm not praying at all. Everything, the relationship that I had with God started, it faded away, like, there's no, like, I did not talk. I mean, I did not pray. I did not talk to my father. I didn't do nothing. I was just so focused on him because, like, I felt like a relationship needed to focus on him. But a relationship would never be strong or grow if you don't have God in the middle. I don't care what anybody say. You could say that, oh, God's this, God is that, da da da. God don't do that, blah blah blah. Lies. Try it if you want to. Let's see how your relationship goes. I mean, it could go for some years or whatever, but it's years of hell. I know that much. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, basically that. So I just stopped, I started falling off with God. And I just started not really caring about my relationship about him. And I noticed that, like once, I noticed that through the relationship that I was with this guy. But I also really started noticing at the end I was like like Anaya you had everything going for you like everything started going good in your life and that's another thing I felt like I allowed the devil to blind me I felt like that was a test that was a test of God that was a test of God saying like Anaya like we gonna see if this works like if you see a sign there there's need to be cutting off and it's always when when you fail a test that God has given you don't down yourself don't make it seem like I'm just a horrible person no you're not it's time of learning and when he give you that test make sure when he tests you again on that same thing to not fail it that's all we are trial and errors okay and you know like we can you know fail a couple tests you know and make sure we just bounce back and know what we failed on and what we need to fix late next time it's just like taking a test and you failed the test now you have to study for the test and retake the test if you get what i'm talking about so basically yeah i basically failed the test and back to the instagram post this is all into the instagram post and i was like saying how devastated i was how i was losing myself as a person and i could speak on 
I felt like I didn't have any values. Like, I just, like, I just felt lost. And I felt like, um, I didn't matter. And just the devil was, when I'm telling y'all, the devil gets at you on your lowest points. Like, he really does. And it's time, it's just like, you, you know, you gotta ignore the devil. You just gotta ignore him because, mm-mm. He just, oh, he just horrible. So I was getting like thoughts of just, Anaya, you're not beautiful. Th that's the reason why he left you and all this other stuff. And basically like, I just, I just hit the toll of like, not looking at myself the same way I would look at myself like any other day. Like, dang girl, you beautiful. You looking nice. You're beautiful. That I wasn't looking at myself like that. I was looking at myself like, oh, you look sick. Ugh, like, ugh, like I just looked at myself like, ugh, like you know that person that you just hate, like I mean not hate but dislike and you can't stand. That's kind of looks and thoughts I was thinking of myself. And oh, also I just want to say this. I'm just talking about this because I feel like during this journey that I have with you guys, I'm always open with you guys about stuff like this. And I know it's somebody out here that is going through something like. Somebody is going through something and this video could probably help you like you never know. So I was basically going through it. Now I can say I am back. I am back. I am totally back. Like, oh my goodness. Like, I'm, I feel like I'm just me again. Like, my heart is not hurting anymore. Like. I'm telling you, God works in mysterious ways. When you, when a person dog you out or do you wrong, move on with life. Just leave them alone. Move on with life, and they will get theirs. What goes around comes right back around. Now let me throw on some Queen, cause y'all know I love Queen. And at the same time, when I was going through my stuff, Queen was going through her stuff with her man. So it really like. It hit it. It hit me. Like, I was like, okay, I'm not the only one going through it. So that's another thing that may help me go through the process even faster. But let's put the, her new song on that she hasn't published yet. Just remember what goes around comes around. Okay, now I'm getting off track. <laughs> like, but basically, yeah, I was listening to her song. She has medicine. If you haven't heard it, go check her out. Like, she's bomb. I just felt like I was losing myself in the whole story time thing. Like, that was just shambles. A lot of drama. Um, work for me working there with the co-workers and stuff i mean it's work like i go there to work i go there to make money i don't go there to make friends sometimes you will make friends at work but that's not my priority like so like when evidently y'all know that like i got into it with my co-workers and stuff like that and um uh, i just don't talk to them um, I don't hate them. I don't hate any of them. Um, if they try to be cool with me, would I be cool with them? Um, I don't know. Like, I really don't. Because I'm like, you know, things happen that I don't think I could really see them as being my friend or cool with them like that or close to them like I was. But, um, you know, everybody makes mistakes and I understand that. But... You just can't make too much of a fool out of me with the mistakes. And, you know, everybody learns and that's all what we're about. I don't know if I would actually take them back as being a friend. It's like a 50-50 chance. I feel like people need to show me if they're going to actually act right. Um, I don't hate anybody. I don't even hate the guy that actually did what he did. Um... Would I? That's another thing. A lot of people ask me, would I take him back? The answer is going to be no. And some of y'all are probably like, okay, like some of y'all gonna understand, and some of y'all probably like, everybody needs a second chance. Um, I feel like no. Mm -mm. I I'm too good 
for BS. I'm too good to be played with. I'm, I'm too good of a girl. Like, I'm too loyal. I'm too down to earth. I'm, I'm too everything good to be treated like that and to be put in the same situation. Another thing people don't think about is that like once you you achieved something that broke you, you grew from something that broke you. I don't believe that I should go back. And I'm just be honest. Could we be friends? Um God better he better pray to God for that one. Could we um could we be associates? Yes, we can. We can definitely. Um, you know, I see you. You see me. Hi, bye. I just don't think that. I don't really think that we can even be friends. Um, I'm, I'm just on the whole. Once I cut you off, like once you're out of my life, you're out. And if I do so happen to see you, you know, I say hi. I still respect you as a person. And, you know, it's always good for people to learn from their mistakes. I mean, you're not going to have the same person, but at least when you come across another girl, you know, to res to love what you have and stop looking elsewhere, you know. And I have my reasonings on why I'm not, like, I'm just not going there. Um, no harsh feelings or anything towards him. Like, I don't hate him. Like I said, I don't hate him. I don't dislike him i dislike what he did to me but um big things popping you know <laughs> like honestly big things are popping and i'm just not gonna focus on that anymore um i wish him good luck with his with his relationship now i wish him love and happiness and hopefully you know um things can go good for his life for him in life um, I wish him good luck. Like, I, I just want to see him where he wants to lie. I know that he wanted to be in the NFL. So I pray and I, I pray to God that he gets that. I pray that he goes to the NFL. I pray that he is successful in life. Um, I don't down people even I don't never down my exes or anybody that I've talked to even if like they've done me wrong. I just pray that God can open up their eyes and give them a humble heart and a loving heart and cure the pain that they have. Um, I don't hate him like I said. I feel like a lot of people think I hate him but I don't hate him. Now it has came a time where I actually felt like I hated him or disliked him but I just had to just stop it because that's not what God wants me to do. So I'll come back when I'm dumping my lashes on. I'm using the AOA Studio Lashes and the name is Scarlet. And it's $1 sis. Go to Shop Miss A. Y'all, I am back. So now I'm just going to put on my foundation and talk to you guys some more. Y'all, I'm a really forgiving person. I'm really loving. I care about people like, like I just... I have a really caring heart like I don't know I don't know why I have that like you can do the most to me and I still care my friend I remember when I was heartbroken my friend told me she said Anaya if you stop worrying about this boy if you just let it go he doesn't want you Anaya honestly he doesn't want you he's he's done with you let him go. Focus on you. Focus on making you happy. Focus. Don't focus on getting in another relationship because that's not going to help the other guy that you get in a relationship with because you're not all the way healed. And I was listening to my friend and I was like, I really needed that. She told me, this is word for word, she said, God got you. If you if you do what you need to do, God got you. Don't do evil upon evil because God won't pay you. God doesn't like evil. He doesn't like anything ugly. That's what she told me. And I was listening to her and I'm like, she is so right. She is so right. And I listened to that. And y'all, when I tell you I started doing what I needed to do, God is wonderful. And I don't know what he's he dealing with over there. I don't know what God is doing over there. But I know over here we good. Okay. We eating good. We losing weight good. We healthy. Okay. We healthy. <laughs> so yeah. Like I can actually say God is good. Uh, he is wonderful. Like. And I thought my life 
when I tell you guys, I thought he was just my knight shaman armor. Like, it could not get any better. God got somebody. That's another thing. If you if you have went through the same situation or you're going through something with your man or the man that you used to be with, God got you. Just remember that. Y'all not sometimes the guy that you thought you need to be, need you think that you need to be with is not the guy you need to be with. He's not the guy I need to be with. God got somebody for me, but if I keep doing what I'm doing, he going to send that person cuz he know I want to get married young. He know I want to be this happy wife that caters to her husband. He knows that I want to build a happy, strong family. But I have to do things for God first before he does anything to him. Like I was watching Face Over Matter. She was like talking about how you got to meet him halfway. You got to meet God halfway. If you're not going to meet God halfway, why would you even ask him for anything? That's just like a parent. Get your grades good and we can go buy you a car. Get your grades good. We can go buy you um, some makeup. Get your grades good. I can buy you a new cell phone. Something like that, you know? Y'all, God be making our love little stories or whatever, you know. But, like I said, you got to do what you're supposed to do so you can get what you want. And pray for it, you know. And believe that it's done. That's another thing. We you don't believe that he going to do it, how he going to do it if you don't believe in him? You know, you got to trust in him. And at first, I'm not even going to lie. I used to always didn't trust. But then... I just started trusting in him and he's been making a way like y'all when I tell you it's stuff that has happened in my life and I will be making like a little video about that soon hopefully but it's been time where stuff like that has happened to where like I'll be like ugh, like I'm not gonna make it and I pray and I'll be like okay I'm gonna just put it in God's hand when I tell you God comes through when you least expect it he comes in so quick yeah like i'm so excited that i am back to being who i am to being the loving anaya the funny goofy anaya everybody knows the one that just make everybody laugh and y'all another thing dear accent is coming back i'm actually gonna record a video before um i mean not before after this video and yeah so yeah and if you want a dear accent all you have to do is um email the the email right here and don't email accent at gmail.com please don't that's a business account and i only email businesses back if you email me that like i've seen a one and i'm going to do that but just make sure y'all don't email that business uh, email because I will not be accepting. I mean, I won't be answering y'all if y'all do that anymore. I'm going to just do it once. I'm going to answer once, but after this, nope. Because that is my business account and I like to look at business. You know, I don't want to mix business with, you know, the dear acts and stuff. It's just going to be too much. But I'm going to come back to y'all after I'm done setting my face, putting highlight on my face. And stuff like that. Okay, you guys. I am done. I did my hair. Threw on a little. Some hair in my head. And quality it the day. Um, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did. Go ahead. Click that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed already. And sis. If you didn't like my video. What are you doing? Hold on. Wait. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Did you like it? Love you all. Thank you guys for watching. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. You make me wanna. wanna.